there. Welcome again to another video of data science. In this short video, I will show an implementation of the hierarchical clustering of the IRIS dataset using the Scientific Python Library, or SciPy. Clustering in data science and machine learning is the most basic way to model any given dataset, assuming that it is made up of distinct groups of objects that share properties. Here, recognizing different properties in the dataset by creating categories is called unsupervised clustering. This way machine can detect certain objects are more similar to each other than others. We have previously discussed in machine learning fundamentals that unsupervised clustering is finding similarities between objects. Or, a clustering algorithm can group distinct objects that share properties. There are different types of clustering algorithms. K-means clustering. That divides data points into k distinct groups. Hierarchical cluster analysis, HCA. It subdivides each group into smaller groups. There is also another clustering algorithm that is discussed in unsupervised clustering. The expectation maximization or EM algorithm. Using the EM algorithm, we can find the local maximum likelihood. Now let's see the hierarchical clustering. It is a bit different clustering algorithm from k-means clustering. K-mean clustering specifies data point into the number of clusters we tell it to. This method is commonly used to automatically partition a data set into k distinct groups. On the other hand, hierarchical clustering specifies data points pairwise, in which two things are most similar. It means that the hierarchical clustering algorithm subdivides each group again into smaller groups. The results of hierarchical clustering are usually presented in a dendrogram. Here we will build a dendrogram of the iris dataset using the linkage matrix of the SciPy library. The linkage function accepts different parameters. The input parameter may be either a one-dimensional condensed distance matrix or a two-dimensional array of observation vectors. The linkage methods are used to compute the distance between two clusters. Now let's jump right into the implementation. Starting with loading initial packages. Here we have imported the dendrogram and linkage function from the hierarchy module of the SciPy library. The hierarchy module provides functions for hierarchical and agglomerative clustering. Its features include generating hierarchical clusters from distance matrices, calculating statistics on clusters, cutting linkages to generate flat clusters, and visualizing clusters with dendrograms. Here, we are using the plot style of the matplot library to plot the graphs. Now, first importing the iris dataset and loading the dataset into pandas data frame. Then begin the analysis procedure with the traditional data cleaning. Checking if the dataset contain any missing values, outliers, or incorrect data, or any duplicates values. Since our dataset doesn't contain any of these, so we are good to go with the clustering procedure. First, we will separate the numerical columns from the dataset into a new data frame, because we need to calculate the distance with those numerical values. Then we set the categorical species column as an index of the new data frame. Now, initiating the linkage matrix using the ward linkage method. It is a way of finding out how far each data point is from every other point in the multi-dimensional space. Now, let's draw the dendrogram of the linkage matrix using matplotlib. Here the label of the leaf of the dendrogram is the index of the new data set that we have selected the categorical species column. So, here we have our hierarchical dendrogram. As we can see how iris species are grouped from left to right according to their similarity to each other. From the hierarchy, we can see that there are three iris species in our dataset, and iris setosa is completely different from iris virginica and versicolor. And there is a hierarchical similarity between virginica and iris versicolor. Hence we can get quick insight from the given dataset, using hierarchical cluster analysis. So, we are at the end of this presentation. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you are facing difficulties understanding my video, please let me know in the comments section below. I am continuously trying to improve my video quality so that it can be more understandable. I have also made a blog post on this topic. Check this out. I have put the link in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in another video.